Two, three little shepherds, Our Lady appeared, The light of her grace to her son's souls. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Let us have no fear in approaching the throne of grace to receive mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city, here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. 
Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the highest honour of our race. You are the highest honour of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honour of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest highest honour of our race. God grant you to be always held in honour and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest highest honour of our race. race. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son, Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. If you sit down, please. It was on the 13th of July, 1917, that Our Lady gave the secret to the three little children, Jacinta, Francesco, and Lucy, in three parts. The first part was the horrific vision of hell. Lucy gives us a vivid description in the book, Fatima, in Lucy's own words. I suggest, if you haven't the book, please get it while you're in Fatima. Lucy's own words. When it was finished, the lady said to the three little children, You have seen hell, where the souls of poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish devotion to my immaculate heart. If what I say to you is done, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. The war is going to end. It finished the final year, 1918. But if people do not cease offending God, a worse one will break out during the reign of Pope Pius XI. And she went on to tell the little children 
that when you see an unknown light in the sky, let that be a sign to you that God is about to punish the world. The unknown light was seen all over Europe on the night of the 25th of January, 1938. The sky was a mass of flames from the north down to the Mediterranean. The people rushed out of their houses. What's happening? What's happening? Our scientists said, oh, nothing to worry about. It's only the northern lights, the aurora borealis. Lucy, from her convent window, saw it. She said, that is the sign. It's come all the way down to the Mediterranean. The war is coming. 1938, the 12th of March, running into the 13th of March, Hitler marched into Austria. That was the spark of the Second World War, and the Pope was Pope Pius XI. Many, many died during that Second World War. The vision of hell, it was given for our times. Because many people now, even practicing Catholics, don't believe hell exists. Priests don't believe hell exists. God is too good. God is all mercy. Oh, no, there's no such place. It's very serious. Many have stopped going to confession. Are they ready when God calls them into eternity? Very dangerous. The actual dogma of hell is part of the official teaching of the Catholic Church. John Hafford and Father Colgan of the Fatima Apostolate in America many years ago were encouraged to approach the famous surrealist painter Salvador Dali to create his own imaginative painting of hell. He found it very difficult to get started and he asked for a 15-minute interview with Sister Lucy in our Carmelite convent. When he came out from this interview, he turned to the priest and he said, I have been speaking with a saint. When the priest and himself came back to this capelina, he turned to the priest and he said, Father, will you hear my confession? Salvador Dali, the painter, hadn't been to confession for years and years. He wasn't practicing his faith. And the priest said afterwards that it was the most sincere confession he ever heard. It took Salvador Dali two years to complete the painting. He did it in secret, didn't want anyone to know he was painting hell. When Father Colgan came to collect the painting and pay the check for it, he was overwhelmed when he saw what Salvador Dali had created overwhelmed. He was embarrassed. He didn't know what to make of this painting. He was very confused, not knowing what to do and where to display the painting, the original by Salvador Dali. The painting went missing for 30 years, was found finally in a convent 
at the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima in New Jersey. The people of the Apostolate began to think this painting could be stolen, so they sold it to a man in Connecticut, and that's where the painting is to this very day. It was on the 13th of July, 1917. After giving the children the vision of hell, that Our Lady said to them, when you pray the rosary, say after each mystery, O oh my Jesus, forgive us, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need. A special gift for these times given to us by the late St. John Paul II, is the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which Pope John Paul II wished to promulgate, to be, as it were, his shining last statement. In section 1035 of the Catechism, it says quite clearly that the teaching of the Church affirms the existence of hell and eternity. And Lucy tells us that the vision given to them was seen somewhere over there where all the candles are burning. They said, that's where the earth opened up and they saw the horrific vision. Pray, 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 especially for those going into eternity who might not be ready. Our Lady as a mother is so concerned and she wants us who have given ourselves to her Immaculate Heart to help her save souls. We'll now have the prayers of the faithful. The response to the prayers is, we pray to the Lord. We, we pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did. We pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of Christ, cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the, dis in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray, pray to, the to the Lord. Lord. For all of us here, present, and for our families, for our nations, Ireland and Portugal, 
that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplications of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. That whole thing of Salvador Dali, it's, it can be Googled, and you'll get the YouTube where it gives a whole account of how he created the painting. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and of all his holy church. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb, and in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men and women as our children, born to eternal life, through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples and thus became the model of the suppliant church. 
She then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Tony, our Bishop, clergy, religious, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You, Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Blessed be the Lord God, who gave such great honor to your name. All generations will sing your praises. Just to remind you, those receiving communion, we've only permission to receive it on the hand.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malignant enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary mother of your son and mother of the church we ask this through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go in peace the mass is ended the second three verses now of number three with war and its evils the whole world was seething and countless of thousands were mourning and weeping ave 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 maria ave 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 maria to save all poor souls who had wandered astray with sweet words of comfort she asked us to pray ave 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 maria ave ave, ave.